Okay, so you've just done an exercise where you've computed an outer product of two vectors and added that outer product to a matrix. And that's known as a rank one update. Uh, the reason why this is known as a rank one update is because an outer product has, is a matrix that has rank at most one. Okay, if you work it all out, you get to this. And now let's just sort of abstract away from this concrete example and see what we can do more generally. So in general, let's look at x times y transpose plus a, where obviously x, y, and a have to have the proper sizes for this all to work. Now, you've gained quite a bit of experience with slicing and dicing. So here, let's take our vector x and let's leave it alone. And let's take our vector y and partition it into psi 0, psi 1 through psi n minus 1, transpose. And we want to add that to matrix A, which we're going to partition by columns. Okay. Now, that's the same as actually going and transposing this. So you get x times the row vector psi 0, psi 1, through psi n minus 1, which you must add to the matrix A partitioned by columns. And finally, if you now multiply this out, you recognize that this is just x times psi 0 for the first column. x times psi 1 for the second column, and so forth all the way through x times psi n minus 1 for the last column, added to the columns of A. And I guess, to be clear, maybe we should have put it some lines here and some lines here to make this clearer. And then finally, we, re we remember that doing a vector times a scalar is the same as a scalar times the vector. And therefore, we get psi 0 times x. And let's add that to the first column of A. And then we get psi 1 times x plus A1 and so forth. Finally, we get psi n minus 1 times x plus a times n minus 1. Now, stare at this for a second and see if you recognize an operation that you've seen before. 